Hey, what's going on guys? This is Paul and I pull up to the house bringing you another video of Kenny Tyler. This is actually his NBA debut. Passed for his point guard from the University of Washington as featured on the uh, motion picture, The Sixth Man. I am I'm excited. I got drafted 8th to the Raptors in the spot normally reserved for Terrence Ross. Funny thing, I went to look at the, um, the rosters to see what, what the rotation looked like and I'll, I'll be coming off the bench of course as a rookie to start off. But I noticed that Terrence Ross was nowhere to be found. So I did a little, more, did a little bit more digging, and I saw that he's not even on the active roster, which is kind of messed up because they got guys like Alan Anderson and, you know. But whatever. I'm going to go in whenever I have it unlocked where I can talk to the GM and just see about getting him some more minutes because with him and Rudy Gay and DeMar DeRose and all those guys, I can definitely go out there and make some things happen, get some wins. And uh, here I am. I'm subbed in for the first time in my career at point guard. This will not be the only position I play in this game. I'm gonna tell you now, it's it's kind of funny and frustrating at the same time. Dwayne Casey is a genius. I say that with tons of sarcasm. I play anywhere from the one to the two to the four in this game, which is crazy because I'm only six foot four. But as you can see, I'm out there, I'm trying to get my teammates involved. I'm not gonna be a ball hog at all. And I, I was drafted to this team to distribute. And this is my first possession, it ends in a miss. It's all good. First dynamic goal of my career is to make three of my first four shots. I'll tell you now, I don't even attempt four shots this game just because in the limited time I got on the floor, I wanted to involve my teammates as I go ahead and, and they're just not falling so far. First, uh, first two passes led to two shots that nobody's making them yet, but it's all right. I'm, uh, I'm definitely going to you know, keep, uh, keep, keep passing it to them. I'm like a, a Peyton Manning out there. You know, if you drop a pass, whatever, I'm going to go back to you. I trust you. You know, as long as you don't burn me continually. And here it is. I'm already subbed in at the shooting guard position, which is all right, I guess, because Paul George isn't out there. I'm hoping that, you know, in the future, I don't have to play as much two spot because, you know, I'm, I'll am i be pretty undersized for the two. You know, D-Wade is about 6'4", but he's got a much bigger frame. I get that nice spin move. I find an open Anderson. who doesn't even bother to take the shot, but he finds an open line. It's Clazer. It's the three. So now we're getting things going. Skip ahead. I'm trying to get my first oop, and it gets knocked down. But it's all good. Amir Johnson's there to get the rebound or catch the deflection. I'm trying to post up, but I'm not going to take any shots. I'm trying to find John Lucas. Why is he on the floor? I don't know. He's not good at all, but whatever. Another missed basket. So, and that leads to an easy transition dunk for Gerald Green. But, you know, we're down by nine early on. Things aren't looking good. The fans are starting to get a little rumbling in the crowd. Why do we take this guy? He's not making a difference. So I gotta, you know, I gotta shut up the naysayers. We got about five seconds left. Hit a nice little spin move. Hit the man. Amir Johnson inside the paint for an easy bucket for my first career assist. So you know, that's something to build on going into the next quarter. As we're down by seven, 33-26 after one. Now going to the second quarter. I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna try to force the issue. As you see, I got next, but you know, I'm I'm here now. I'm I'm definitely trying to, you know, make an impact in my first game. But um, I'm back in at point guard, which is great. I'm guarding DJ Augustine, and my defense in this game was was pretty good. I mean, I didn't let my guys score very often. I don't think at all, except when Paul George was put on me. As Gerald Green gets the open three, no good, and I'm already leaking out. Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> So the loose ball foul leaves me being subbed out until there's two seconds left in the half. So I only got about four minutes of playing time this <laughs> only got about four minutes of playing time this half, so I'm definitely not you know doing anything spectacular. Don't get bored, I promise you. Just like in the rookie challenge game, second half is my time, just like Herman Boone's Herman Boone said on Remember the Titans as I hit him with a beautiful spin move and Rudy Gay finishes. Me and Rudy Gay, you know, I've already played more than a few games with my my player. Me and Rudy Gay are making things happen up there. Right now I'm doing a little things. I'm grabbing rebounds. I'm setting screens. I'm pushing the tempo, trying to find the open man. Dribbling through traffic. Finds Amir Johnson again for an easy bucket near the hoop. So there we go. That's my third assist in my career. That's beautiful. Now we're getting things going. And look at the score. We're back in the game. We're down by one. But I'm back in a shooting guard now. But whatever. Uh, I don't know. Frank Vogel decided not to put in. Oh, dribble. Open move. Beautiful. Bargnani finishes at the hoop. Lovely. There's four assists now. That's three already this quarter. Skip ahead a little bit more. I'm pushing the tempo. I'm not slowing down. I'm dribbling through. Finding open Rudy Gay. He doesn't take the three, but he drives. 
and it leads to Sebastian Telfair knocking down a bucket. So like I said, this isn't all about just me, it's on a highlight reel. I'm just showing you my impact on the game itself. As here now, I'm going on the defensive end, fast break. I don't really have great speed, but I got a little cute and I try to make the pass and it leads to a turnover. It's all right though, coach still, you know, give me some, give me the green light to go out there and make moves. Plus I'm hustling, I get back on defense, help with the block, but it leads to a rebound by uh, Lance Stevenson. He gets an easy bucket, which lowers my grade because I'm supposed to be guarding him. And I guess the coach didn't like it because he subbed me out. No problem. We got about two and a half minutes left in the game. We are, looks like we're knotted up at 99. And I'm coming back in the game. I'm trying to make some things happen. You know, I'm trying to get my team this win as I hit a streaking Bargnani across the middle of the paint. And he hits the easy bucket. That's five assists. Got my first milestone completed. You know, that's the first of many. I guarantee you that. And look at that. I'm making plays. That's my second steal of the game. I actually had to guard Paul George on that one. So I was just trying to face him up so he couldn't get an easy post up. Driving right to the basket. And look at this freaky play by DeMar DeRozan leading to an assist. I don't even know what the hell just happened. But it's all good, though. It leads to a bucket. And I got five highlights. You'll see them at the end of the game. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of my five highlights just because, you know, this is my first time playing with this guy. My stats aren't very great. As Paul George gets the open three, does not knock it down. I'm leaking out. I'm trying to beat PG. He's 6'10". I'm 5'4". But I still finish the left. It doesn't give him a chance to block it. So we're up by six with about two minutes left. Actually, about a minute and a half to go. We're up by six. I'm trying to ice the game. Trying to make some things happen in order for us to secure the win in my debut. But in this last minute, I'll tell you some freaky stuff happened. Easy bucket or at least an easy attempt by DeRozan. He, bo he botches it. Doesn't take the shot. Which leads to George Hill pushing the, the tempo on in transition. David West misses the basket. But George Hill, of all people, gets that rebound. Leads to an easy three by Danny Granger. Cutting the lead in half to three. We got a minute left on the clock, up by three. We're trying to hold on. We want to get this win for the Toronto fans. They've been through enough in these recent years, enough heartbreak with Bosch leaving, Vince Carter quitting on the team. Rudy Gay does not shoot there either. What is going on, guys? Come on now. Well, I'll take the ball back. I'm going to try to set something up, and there's not very much time to find Bargnani. He doesn't take the shot. What is? Why are you doing that? But look at me, the hustler I am. I go in there. I get the offensive rebound. I'm trying to eat some clock. Just so, you know, I can force them to start fouling us. I definitely don't want, you know, to go to overtime because chances are I may not. Look at that. And DeRozan again. <sighs> Why are they avoiding these shots? What is going on? Are you tanking already the first game of the year? So now I'm going to be forced to take an Illibai shot just to get the ball off without turning it over. Leads to a miss. They call a timeout. Uh, they, I don't know. And look at the genius Dwayne Casey puts me in at power forward. What are you thinking? I know you want to get me out there to play, but come on, man. And I, I do a smart thing. Oh, I thought it was smart. I took the foul, so he didn't get any kind of shot clock or game clock cheese. But it leads to this. Four seconds left. George Hill steps back. Two defenders on him. Throws up a three. And buckets. He ties it up. And <laughs> luckily, this was not a live commentary because I was pissed. There's clearly not enough time to get a shot off. DeRozan's not going to make that. It, didn't, it wouldn't have counted anyway. So we're going to OT. But yeah, when when that happened, my uh, my six month old, he was laying down next to me asleep in his chair, and I must have been so upset, I I, I damn near woke him up. But we're in overtime. I want to get in the game, and I don't. <laughs> Whatever. We got the win though. One fourteen, one thirteen. Toronto takes the season opener. So yeah, I mean, you guys, let me know what you think in the in the comment section. Uh, I'm, I'm doing my best to bring out some decent content. I've got way better stuff now that I'm getting some more playing time. So um, just stay tuned, stay patient with me. I wanted to get a debut video out there for Kenny, even though it was kind of a lackluster performance. I at least wanted to get you something just to see how he's doing. But yeah, this will not be the uh, the last uh, upload for the weekend for me. I'm off, so I got plenty of time to edit. I got a bunch of stuff edited. I just need to do my commentaries. But yeah, um, you know, as you see me making some plays here, it looks a lot better when you see the highlight reel as opposed to just watching it all unfold because I could have got probably... 10 or 11 assists based on the shots that they didn't take or the shots that they botched in the paint or open threes they wouldn't take but yeah look at that freaky play that's DeMar DeRozan right there I don't know what that was but he finished the left and there's me streaking out for my first and only bucket of the day didn't allow Paul George to chase down but this is I pull up to the house uh, signing out I'm gonna get up with y'all later alright peace <laughs>